there. Welcome to our Monday moment. If you were here yesterday, you were part of the process as we went through Luke chapter 15, verses 8 through 10. It's a parable. And now parable, we don't know what those are because we don't use that word very often. But it's simply an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. And the parable is about this woman who loses a coin and she lights a candle or a lamp she sweeps and she seeks desperately diligently is what it says diligently to find that coin and she doesn't give up until she finds it and then when she finds that coin it says that she rejoices that she shares it with her neighbors and she shares it with everyone i found the coin woo woo it's that picture right and then the last part of that scripture was that is that this is what God expresses when one person repents when one person turns to God when one person makes movement towards Jesus when one person says yes to Jesus this is God this all-powerful all-knowing ever-present God that celebrates when one person comes to know him moves towards him and so as we looked at this piece of scripture we saw that that the woman she was uh, very uh, urgent about this seeking of the coin and we see that God is urgent to see us come to know him and to love him. And so the question is, are you urgent to see those around you come to know Jesus, move towards Jesus? And, and maybe you're, you're watching this and saying, you know, I don't know Jesus yet. I, I wonder if maybe you would take this opportunity to see that God loves you so desperately that he seeks after you, that he never gives up on you, that he will pursue you relentless and, and loves you so deeply that, that his greatest desire, that he would celebrate when you move towards God, when you move towards Jesus. And so my question for you today is a couple. One, uh, are you intentional about your life? If you have a relationship with Jesus are you strategic do you create moments do you create space for God to use you to speak into those around you and do you have a sense of urgency do you desire are you desperate to see will you do whatever it takes to see those people that are around you move towards Jesus and back again if you don't know Jesus yet would you uh, take this moment to move towards him? Could I encourage you? Could I be your pastor for a minute and, and encourage you to take this step? It's just one step. A momentum always begins with one step. Would you just take this one step to move towards Jesus? And how do you do that? Just say yes to Jesus. And if you said yes to Jesus, will you message me? Because I sure would like to encourage you, to help you take the next step, to create momentum in your life. God bless you. Thanks for engaging. I will see you this Sunday.